for daily ask reddit r slash ask reddit what makes you immediately lose romantic interest in someone if they constantly make you feel bad for them felt so bad and was so worried about him for so long that the one time i needed the emotion i couldn't have it fishing for pity is not attractive if someone is telling me something sad fine if someone is telling sad things so i will feel bad for them i.e manipulative sympathy then i cannot get out of there fast enough they're obsessed with their ex yes and people tend to have a painful lack of self-awareness about this they immediately accuse others of being insecure when they are constantly bringing up their ex for no reason like if we are at Red Lobster I don't need to know what your ex used to order, I don't need to know their favorite movie or really anything about them, that doesn't relate to you in some way. It becomes really obvious when someone still has strong feelings for their ex, and it's sad, when they're the only person who can't seem to see it. Yeah no lie I'm still getting over my ex, and I constantly have to pump my mental brakes to not bring her up on dates and while just generally hanging out with some friends. What makes it harder is that we share the same close friend group and she has clearly moved on much faster than me and is loving being single. Shit fucking hurts. Edit. To clear things up my ex and I were friends for a little over 1.5 years before we started dating. In that time we grew really close and then decided to give us a try. After a few months we both realized it couldn't work, and we broke up mutually, however she was able to process the reasons for the breakup better than me. I honestly want only the best for her, and she is a good person, but that doesn't mean my emotional side is ready to just accept the rational fact of why we broke up. I know that our separation was the best decision for both of us, but I still miss the connection that we had, and that is the part that weighs on me very hard. Been there. Got divorced two years ago. I swear my ex had six relationships and an unknown amount of one night stands before I ever went on a single date. Honestly I can say I'm definitely happier now. I can't watch her date other people that still hurts. I hope she is happy I really do, but I just can't watch it. We also have the same friend group, but it is more of a had the same friend group. I think I have hung out with those friends once in the last year. Divorced almost five years had one date, and was like back quote nope, not ready now, may never be ready, married for 19 years, to kids, he is with the girl he cheated on me with, half his age, and they have a 2 year old, he is 59 years old this year, I'm 45 and I'm still too damaged to move on. I personally am not a fan of neglecting exes altogether, like some people claim it's forbidden to mention an ex. Especially when talking emotions with your partner, I think it is good to talk about previous relationships as to understand where your partner comes from emotionally. In my last relationship, that made all the difference in our communication. But other than that, constantly bringing up an ex suggests that they have not overcome the ex yet. Why on earth would you bring it up so randomly so often? At some point it's just weird. It depends on context. Reddit has the mindset of never bring up exes ever, which, I think is incredibly juvenile. It's hard to pretend an ex doesn't exist when you live with them for several years, get pets with them, etc. By the same token though, bringing them up when it's irrelevant to the conversation, or just out of the blue in general, is also indicative that you aren't fully over them. To give an example, if we went out to eat somewhere that my ex and I used to eat at, I wouldn't bother mentioning that, it's irrelevant and unnecessary. If however, I was asked what about my recent life history, not mentioning my ex would be the same as pretending my life didn't exist. We lived together and did literally everything together for 3 years, you can't just sweep that under the rug. Talking at you, not with you. It's amazing how common this is. Five ish years ago, after breaking up with my ex I spent three months on OkCupid okay saying yes to every guy who asked me out, unless he said something that made me think he was a creep, or we had literally nothing in common. Anyways, ended up going out with probably 20 ish guys in the time period and every single one, except my now fiancé, went exactly like this me asks questions about their life slash likes slash interests them talks for 10 minutes and then stops 
me, says something about what they said to try and connect us, I yo you just moved here, I remember when I just moved it was tough, what brought you here, them, ignoring the connection, and talking more about themselves, also them, never ask me a single question, like why go on a date, if you are not interested, in learning about the other person at all. Went out with a guy once who talked 90% of the time, 85% of that being about how much money he had made, how much he spent on his now ex-wife, or the nice cars he had. I picked him up, because he didn't have a right to meet up. He was legitimately confused why I didn't want to spend the night with him when I went to drop his ass off. Never saw him ever again. Edit, my first silver. Thank you kind stranger. When they have seemingly no opinion, no voice. When every answer is I don't care, or I don't know. Like Jesus Christ I'm trying to find out what you like, so that we can talk. Jim something. It is annoying, but I used to be like this. My stepmom always told me that my opinion didn't matter until I was 18, which meant that she never listened to what I wanted, and I was never allowed to ask for what I actually felt like doing slash eating slash watching when she was around. Long enough with that, and you just learn not to speak up. I did eventually learn that most people care what you think, but it took some time and gentle nudging from the rest of my family 